What are you looking for mainly in an echocardiogram? Yeah, so the, the big picture is, is one heart function, so we'll give something called an ejection fraction. Ejection fraction. Right. So what that means is how much blood that's put in your heart gets squirted out, okay? No, normal um, is more than 50% 50 per, 50 or greater, so half the blood that comes in your heart should be ejected out. Um, we have various ways of measuring that. Most commonly, it's the eyeball factor, um, meaning you know you put 10 <laughs> cardiologists in a room and you kind of, we can all look at an echo and get within 5% of each other. That's what we spend all our training uh, for when we read echoes. Um, th there are some different ways we can measure the ejection fraction, which seems to be a little more objective. Now, the um, left well. ventricular ejection fraction. Correct. Right. That's yes. the big pump. That's the big pump. So is that the most important ejection fraction that comes from the left ventricle? It is, yeah. The, the, we can't really evaluate the right ventricular ejection fraction. It, it's either abnormal or not. But yeah, the left ventricular ventricular ejection fraction tells us lots of things. Um, it, it tells us, um, you know, one, if you're a candidate for an ICD or defibrillator, okay, it kind of gives us an idea of what the cardiac output or is, you know, are, are your low blood pressures uh, related to uh, a, a reduced ejection fraction as well. So if somebody has a value 50% being normal, 50% mm -hmm. of the blood that comes into left ventricle is squirted out, mm -hmm. uh, if it gets down to 40 or 35 or 45, when do you begin to worry. Yeah, we, um, but probably 40% or less is where we've called this heart failure with reduced ejection fraction is that number. At 35% or less is when we start worrying about sudden cardiac death and we think about defibrillators at that point. Um, but the medications really change at 40% on how we manage that. And also, do we need to start thinking about doing heart catheterizations and look for blocked arteries at that point if we get that number. If it's the coronary arteries that are not supplying the muscle with the ability to eject the blood that's mm -hmm. there. The main causes of coronary artery disease would be smoking, yes. overweight, mm -hmm. High blood pressure, right. all things that we can work on that all we can change? We, well, a lot of those things, yeah, probably 60% of it's genetic, whatever mom and dad give you, and you can't usually pick your parents. Yeah. Um, and it's so much important now, the family absolutely. history of what mom and dad gave you. Yeah, and uh, so it's really it important if you do have a family history to not, you know, to, to take care of your body then. It's, you know, the, the smoking and not getting diabetes and exercising and, and eating correctly. So all of those are, are big factors.